Firefly Blue Ghost, separation confirmed. And there you can see, and you also heard the call out for confirmation that Blue Ghost is drifting away from Falcon 9's second stage. From all of us here at SpaceX, it has been a pleasure having you on board, Blue Ghost. Safe travels. I think the objectives of Blue Ghost Mission 1 are really at a broad level uh, to impact science, exploration, and technology development in those three areas. And there are instruments and payloads to help NASA get better data and our community get better data in those three areas. So that's understanding uh, the atmosphere of the moon, its capabilities and characteristics, understanding how we would future human explorers could more efficiently operate on the lunar surface, uh, and then also demonstrating technologies. So there's a whole variety of payloads relative to those. We've got a camera system we call SCALPS. Uh, the stereo cameras for lunar plume surface studies, a very long title, but essentially it's video cameras that are looking at the plume that the lunar lander engines are generating to then help us model better the, how these plumes uh, operate uh, and that could help us understand how much, how much of these plumes go all over the lunar surface and how to better kind of land in the future on the lunar surface. got this electrodynamic dust shield, EDS, on the Blue Ghost Mission 1 um, that's going to look at the electric, field, uh, electric fields and different voltages if lunar dust is on these materials. And using electric fields uh, to kind of get the dust off of various surfaces. And once again, this is going to be very helpful as we have radiators, cameras, other technologies that get this dust on them that we need to get the dust off, you know. There are no humans there to dust off the, the uh, uh, lunar dust from these camera systems or a radiator. Uh, are there kind of automatic systems we can set up? So the EDS, the Electrodynamic Dust Shield, will help with that. Firefly Blue, Blue Ghost will be the third commercial attempt at landing on the moon from the United States uh, within the last year and a half. Uh, and then after this one, we've got the fourth uh, mission, the Intuitive Machines IM2 mission, right? And so this is now regular cadence of missions that we're going to have one or two per year uh, where we can just access those services, put payloads on. Others as well can do that as well. Uh, do that as well. For instance, the IM2 mission has payloads from a DLR, uh, a German, German research agency, and other payloads. So other, other, other folks can use it. And then what you also see is each of these landers, the lander companies have different product lines. So they have their initial lander designs, but then they have later landers, the roadmap that are more capable, can land more payloads, maybe can survive the lunar night, can bring larger rovers, Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.